Hello and welcome. Today I have my third video in my series of Lisa Eldridge lipstick lexicon videos. So I have eight shades to show you here today and the category for today is nudes, browns, and rosy tones. So I have eight shades, three within the Luxuriously Lucent formula and five within her velvet formula. So if you'd like to see me lip swatch all those shades and then I'll have them arm swatched and just talk about how the colors compare to one another. If you'd like to see all of that, just keep on watching. I have eight shades here. I'm gonna start out with the Lucents and then move into the velvet. So three of these shades are in the Luxuriously Lucent formula and then the rest, the final five, are gonna be velvets. I'm gonna start out with Kitten Mischief. This is my favorite shade. I'm gonna do this just the same way that I've done my other lipstick lexicon videos. So I'm just going to put music underneath. I'll make sure to indicate what shade I'm doing each time. And then after that, I'll have my arm swatches where I can just talk a little bit about the colors and how they compare to one another. So let's get started with Kitten Mischief. Here are all the swatches on my arm. Kitten Mischief, Spirited Away, Painterly. Those are the three lucent shades in this little collection of colors. Then we have Velvet Intrigue, Velvet Fawn, Velvet Affair, 
Velvet Muse, and Velvet Decade. To me, these are definitely all within the same family. I think all of these are somewhat warm toned. They're a little bit more warm than neutral, in my opinion. Velvet Decade is a little bit interesting and different because even on the same person, I find depending on the day and the lighting and the rest of their makeup, it can go from cool to warm to neutral. So that's one that's kind of a chameleon type shade. But all the rest of these, I would say, are you know, leaning more toward that warm territory. I put Velvet Affair back on my lips, so that's what I have on right now. And I think another commonality among all of these shades is a little bit of brown that's mixed into them. So even something that's a little bit more light and kind of vibrant, like Kitten Mischief or Velvet Intrigue, I still think they have a little bit of brown in them that kind of makes them a little bit earthier and kind of tones them a little bit just to make them a little bit more of that kind of earthy nude feel. So if we look at the three Lucents, I think they all look quite different. Kitten Mischief is definitely kind of the brightest, most peachy type of tone and the lightest among these three. Spirited Away, I think, is a really nice kind of nude red, like a little bit of a brownie red, but super easy to wear. It's not like wearing a, a full on red lipstick. It's the type of reddish tone that can really be a My Lips But Better shade. This is a color that a lot of people would find naturally in their own lip tone. And then Painterly, I think it's just a little bit deeper. It's a little bit cooler than these ones. I would say of all of these tones, it's probably the most neutral because I see both the warm and the cool going on there and it can pull more cool than most of these other shades, I think. I kind of think of it as almost like a brown, rose, and berry all mixed in together. It's a really beautiful tone. And then looking at the velvets, I think we can see the differences here, but to my mind, Velvet Intrigue, kind of like Kitten Mischief, is the most peachy and kind of brightest and lightest of these shades. Velvet Fawn is a little bit more brown. It's kind of like that 90s brown lip, but the lightest version, at least among Lisa's lipsticks. So you still get that effect, but it's just lighter than a lot of other ones, like for example, Velvet Affair. So Velvet Affair, I think it's a similar tone to Fawn. I find it a little bit warmer than Fawn. Fawn's another one that can pull kind of cool depending on the person or the look or the day or the lighting. But Affair to me is always going to pull a little bit more toward that warm side. And then Muse is more of a rose wood. So it has more red mixed into it, in my opinion, than these other ones right here. And it's kind of more similar to Spirited Away in that sense. And then Velvet Decade, I've kind of already talked about that, but it's definitely a lot deeper than the rest of these, but I think still in that family. And as I said, it's kind of one of those chameleon shades that can go cool, warm, or neutral, depending on the situation. So that's it for this episode of the Lisa Eldridge Lipstick Lexicon. Let me know if you have any questions or comments below. I always love to see those. And if you'd like to see more from me and you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I would really love for you to do so. Thanks again so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.